So let me delete the indicator and concentrate now on the chart which we actually loaded. It's 3M and currently we see a bar chart displayed. So a bar chart means we have a vertical bar with a thingy to the left for signaling the opening close, the opening course, and the one to the right signaling the close price. The highest point is the high and this is the low price of the day. <coughs> so you get quite a lot of information already, but let's see what the FibroTrader can, can also offer you. In order to play around with the chart, again we select it in the object tree and go to the appearance. And now we see that these colors actually have a meaning. So the base color is not used here, but since this is a bar chart, the up and down colors are used. So up colors are usually used for positive um, items and down colors for negative ones. So currently we have green as for positive bars. So let's go, we can go for blue for if we want to. Easy as that. And then we can select if you want to have the price value here on the, on the chart, we can select the thickness. We can select if you want to hide the open or the close. close. Hide the open or the close. And this will hide the open bar or the close bar. And now we can go to style and see what else we have in the FibroTrader package. So, no, of course we have line charts, so they're simple lines. And we can select to colorize them. So this will like in the bar chart now color positive movements in the up color and negative movements in the down color. And then we have histograms. Histograms are anchored at zero. So they show you bars at where the current price is, you can have a subtype here. So you can say, okay, I want it bar chart, or I want it filled, or I want it transparently filled, and I can also color it. So again, positive bars are now uh, blue, negative ones are red. And then I can have the bar chart, which you've already seen. Then we can have candlesticks. Candlesticks are probably more familiar to many of you. Um, candlesticks are quite famous, so they show, they connect, the open and the close, and draw a rigid body around. So it's basically a bar chart, but with a filled out body. You can have simple point charts. And then we get into special modes. Now we have point and figure support. Now these special modes, when you switch from point to figure and back, you have to click apply because this will internally switch the charting engine to a different mode because now the time scale is not linear anymore. Now you see the time scale is depending on how many movements were inside one of those uh, point and figure bars. So you can define several methods of uh, the calculation. You have this fixed size method. You can have an incremental method by Dorsey, or you can say I have a percentage for the size of my box, for one box here. So let's go with fixed and say, so we go with two, click apply. Then our boxes are bigger. Or we just say it's just half a half the value, then we have these small boxes with much more movement, much more detail. So you can really play around with these settings. Then we have the equi volume. This chart type will show the volume inside of this area. So this is the open and the close and the, set of the horizontal size of the bar is determined by its volume. So bigger bars, the so broader bars have more trading volume in them.
Now next one is candle volume. This is very much related. So now you see the same bars, but you also see the high and the low with the little candle there. Then we have a simple step chart, simply drawing horizontal lines uh, where the prices are. And um, you can choose to connect them or not to connect them. And this is available. And then we have Renko charts. Renko is a special technique. It's also non-linear time scale and it shows you trends much more visible. You have different different types which you can define here. Uh, you can choose to colorize gaps. So there was a gap from here to here and you can see the gaps and trends much better. Or you can simply leave them out and recalculate and then you have real gaps in the Renko chart. So just as you like. Um, next charting type is symmetrics. If you go for symmetrics, you also the volume plays a role. So it's again the open and the close, which create, which define the size of the box vertically, and the volume, which defines the size of the box horizontally. What you will realize is you cannot zoom anymore because symmetrics have a fixed ratio of price and time. So you can only scroll through here. Only scroll through. What you can do is you can scale the price and it will scale the whole window. And finally we have Heike Ashi, which has been very popular. So it is a tweaked candlestick chart which will show you trends very visibly. So you see the positive trends here up going up and neg the negative ones going down. These are the modes available in the Fibo Trader. If you want to quickly change a mode um, and you don't want to go to the appearance menu all the time, you can also have these uh, quick commands here in the toolbar. Here you have uh, line charts, bar charts, candlestick charts. You can quickly change depending on what you currently want to analyze.